hello everyone welcome to my cooking channel diddy in the kitchen today we're making sweet african potatoes mashed with gari this is a sweet and savory dish that is also an appetite suppressant so it is a low calorie food and when you eat it one time you're not going to need anything else all day all you're going to need is water or whatever else you want to drink it is it, it suppresses your appetite for the next 24 to 48 hours here i served mine with some leftover turkey tail don't forget to subscribe like share comment on this video that will help me to make more videos like this i really really appreciate it thank you for watching Comment below, let us know what you like to eat that is also low calorie count. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and start cooking here. The sweet potatoes have been cut out. Um, the African sweet potatoes, they are different than the American sweet potatoes in that they're, pur they're purple. And they're kind of like purple and red-ish. Um, and they are more starchier. And um, I just like the texture better than the American one. Maybe because I'm used to this one more. Um, but I like the texture a lot. So I cut out the potatoes. And I'm going to boil it halfway with some salt before um, deep frying them. Now I added more salt than I usually add to food. Just because I want to balance out the flavors. The sweet potato, I want to balance the sweetness with some salt. And, um, and that's why I added that much salt. I added maybe like two tablespoons of salt. It seems like a lot, but it came out right. It, didn't, it wasn't too salty. I'm not really a salt person. I don't like salt like that. But for this dish, it was. I felt like it was necessary. So after the potatoes are boiled halfway, we're going to deep fry them in the deep fryer. And here, as you can see, it is almost uh, done the way that I want it. So I'm going to take it off the stove here. And I'm just going to drain it and start to fry it. This was a, child, a childhood favorite dish of mine. We grew up very poor, so when we were lucky enough to get our hands on these potatoes with a little bit of gari, some tomato, some pepper, and salt, that made the whole day easier. So we will eat these in the morning, and then my mom will be gone uh, to go to you know the market and go take care of her business. By the time she comes back, we're not hungry. We're not like starving. So this this is really helpful for farmers also. Farmers will traditionally eat this in the morning on their way to the farm. And they will work all day and they won't be hungry. So all, all they need is water. So I've taken it out, the deep fryer here. And as I'm putting my fork through it, it is done. But I don't like the color i want it to be it needs to be golden brown and so i've put it back into the deep fryer so that it can be uh the color that i want it to be and that's exactly what i'm looking for so now i'm going to go ahead and take it out of out of the uh, deep fryer and drain the ss oil off This does not sound like a healthy dish, but it actually is. It sounds like, uh, oh, it's deep fried, so it's really bad. No, but this is really healthy for you because this was about maybe, I'm not a calorie counter, so I'm not being accurate when I say this, but this, this was about maybe like uh, 1,500 calories. And that's all I had all day. So imagine if you're trying to like diet, you eat 1500 calories a day, that's perfect. 
and you're not even craving anything else. So this is the Gary mixture. I added the Gary with some tomatoes, onions, and uh, green bonnet pepper that I've cut out. And I added that to the Gary, a little bit of water to make the Gary moist, uh, to soften up the Gary, so to speak. And I'm adding the deep fried potatoes here to straight to it. It was really hot, so I was using my hand, using these, but at the same time, because I didn't know. It was really, really hot. So I'm going to smash the potatoes into the gary here. There's no particular way or right or wrong way to do it. I just like to use my wooden spoon when I'm cooking, just because I don't like any SS metal in my food i like to use either wooden spoon or um, silicone spoon just to be on the healthy side of, of things this isn't like a really a healthy cooking channel by any any means this is an african a uh, west african specifically togolese uh cooking channel so we're not really concentrating on being the healthiest but i tend to eat very healthy and i also tend to lean on on things that are really good for my body so i don't eat junk even though this may sound like junk it's not it i promise you it's not so and this is as junky as i am willing to go I'm not a healthy freak, but this is as 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 um junky as I'm willing to go. This is very delicious because it's got the sweetness and then you can balance it off with the saltiness and then with the spice. So it is like every bit it hits like every note that you will want in a in a flavor, you know. Um the only thing missing is it doesn't have acidity, which I really didn't think it needed. If it does, if you want yours to be a little acidic, you can go ahead and add some lime juice or some lemon juice. But I don't, I didn't, I didn't find it necessary. Traditionally, that's not how we do it, so I didn't do that. So I'm adding more of the uh, tomato, onion, and uh, green bonnet pepper mix here. As it's finishing up, I'm going to go ahead and add uh, the potato, the oil that I used to fry some, the potato. There's some, I took some to add to this, uh, to the mixture. This will be a great side dish, you guys. Even though I made it a main dish, it could be a side dish. And anybody will love eating this. Even people that are not familiar with African uh, food. When they eat this, they will love it. Uh, it just is one of those people pleaser dishes. It will please anyone. And it tends to be on the dry side, which is why I added that, that much oil. Um, so we mix it very well here. And it is pretty much ready to serve, as you can see here. So I'm going to go ahead and serve mine. I had uh, some leftover turkey tail. Turkey tail is another delicacy that we have in West Africa. And uh, I'm tasting it here for salt. But we we eat turkey tail a lot. You want to be careful with turkey tail because it does have, it's nothing but fat. So you want to be careful. So here's my portion here that I'm serving myself. And I'm adding the turkey tail nest. Then I'm just garnishing it up with some basil. 
I love fresh basil. I was able, I was, I washed this down with uh, pineapple and mango smoothie with a little bit of a kick. I add some rosé to it. And on the side here, we have some hot pepper sauce from Didi Gaudi Sauce, which, which is coming up as one of my products that will be available soon to purchase. So yeah, the next video that we're going to be showing will be the mango and pineapple smoothie with rosé and how to make that. So thank you for watching. Enjoy your day. Ta-ta. Ciao, ciao.